Hello there, everybody. Uh, well, this is a kit that I purchased from a friend of mine, uh, gosh, about maybe four years ago, maybe a little longer. It's a four meter uh, glider, and uh, it's just been sitting in my attic for, for that amount of time. I just never got around to building it. I've had many other projects on the go, and I, I wanted to put this video together just to quickly um, come up with an idea how to insert these uh, sp uh, spoilers uh, that I'm going to go ahead and insert inside the uh, the wing panel here. And I've kicked over a couple of ideas, maybe like using epoxy or some CA. But I think if I use any of those two um, glues, they might get brittle and break down the road. So I didn't want to risk that. So what I'm going to do is use this Gorilla Glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give it a shot. I think it's going to be more than adequate for this type of... Um, uh, bill that I'm doing. So I've got my blue tape right here. I've already got my uh, Gorilla Glue set up in that um, cup there and um, some and then some water. So the object again is just to get this spoiler to sit inside this um, cutout that I've already made. And the problem I'm having is this. So if I get the spoiler, on, spoiler to sit in here uh, I have to put pressure on it to hold it down, otherwise it comes back up. So what's causing it to pop up is obviously the motor on this end here, or the servo underneath this, um, this sheet of ply. So there's not much force that needs to be pressed down on this, but I think that Gorilla Glue in the back right here definitely should solve this problem. And there's not going to be any problems as far as like glue seeping in the bottom of the... Uh, of the spoiler retract at all. There's no holes down there, so it should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix up some glue here, and uh, I'll go ahead and apply it in there, and then I'll continue recording, okay? Here's a shot of the water and Gorilla Glue that I've mixed, and I'll go ahead and try that right now, and and um, see how that comes out. So let's go ahead and start doing that. I'm gonna try doing this with just one hand here. Uh, it's not going to work, so I'm going to put this on pause. Alright, so I've already got my Gorilla Glue mixed up here. And again, this video is just a solution for people who are building models out there. Just looking for some ideas. And this is not a, you know, everybody's solution for, for putting, you know, um, spoilers in. If it works for you, great. If not, no big deal. This is just a tutorial. Uh, tutorial video just in what I'm doing here. So if you don't like it, oh well, you know, try something else. So anyhow, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this glue in here and uh, see if this works. I'm trying to lay this glue in here while I'm recording with my other hand so I don't have the proper setup for this. This is not my profession. In fact, I'm going to put it down right now before this stuff starts to really bubble up on me so just stand by okay so I've laid down some glue as you can see right there on both sides and I put a little bit underneath the um, the rail itself right here so I'm gonna go ahead and push this down and I know it's gonna pop up on me so what I'm gonna do is put some of this blue tape down just to keep it um, flush with the surface and then what I'm gonna do also is scrape off some of the excess uh, glue that's foaming up so this way it's a little easier to clean off um, once it cures. So I'm going to put the phone down one more time. Well, it turns out that the tape wasn't going to hold. Uh, there was a lot more resistance pushing upward on the uh, spoiler retract itself. So I'm going to go ahead and use this water bottle right here with just some weight on it. And it seems to be just the right amount of uh, pressure to keep it down and flush. So this is the end result right now. It's still curing. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for probably about another, maybe another half an hour, just to make sure that it settles in and, and cures up, and then I'll go ahead and continue. Well, surprisingly, it worked. Better than I expected. So there's the end result. What I'll do now is just sand off the excess uh, glue there that you can see from the rest of that and just kind of flush it down. And the good thing is, is that this foam does sand very easily. So, again, this is just a solution, you know, for someone looking to uh, put in the 
spoiler uh, retracts, you know, without having to use CA or epoxy. Um, and uh, this definitely works. Anyways, have a good day.